Hello, Internet. Welcome to my car. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, my name is Alianne. I'm a choreographer working on a production of Hairspray. And this is the first behind the scenes look at our show. If this kind of stuff interests you, well, <laughs> you know what to do. It's currently 8 a.m. on December 11th of 2021. It's audition day. And we're in the middle of a freezing rain ice storm. Can you say Canada? <laughs> I'm sure that's going to cause a couple of delays today. I think it's going to be a really long day. Some people are going to be showing up late. Some people might not be showing up at all because of this weather. Uh, and if you don't believe how uh, bad it is out there, hold on. This is the view from my car. I've been in my car for like a minute and I already have a sheet of ice on my windshield. So yeah, I'm sure this is going to add some spice to the day. On top of that, um, our musical director quit suddenly. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but we already have a plan in place to get a new one. It's um, a shame that he quit yesterday, <laughs> but we'll we'll do. We've got Catherine, who uh, will be our acting MD today, and we have some good things in the mix, um, which could be very exciting. We have about 85, maybe 90 people signed up which is really, really good. It's an amazing turnout, especially considering that we're only filling about 10 to 15 parts max. Anyway, I'm gonna go and grab myself a venti chestnut praline latte with almond milk, no whip from Starbucks. I'm here early, but I wanted to make sure that I was getting here safe. And it's a really good thing that I got there early because there was a tiny glitch in the system and it caused people to think that they had an audition at 8 a.m. Can you imagine having to sing and dance your best at 8 a.m.? I guess I'm going to chill in my car for a little bit and uh, let people know that I'm here and that I made it safe. And I'll keep you posted on the rest of the day. I'm so glad that I get to take you behind the scenes and show you a little bit of what it's like to be a choreographer uh, on an audition panel. After two entire years away, it was really surreal being back in our rehearsal space, but I really enjoyed seeing all of these familiar faces again. Faces from our production team. We have Danielle over here, who's going to be helping us out. Hello, yes. and welcome back. I know, it's so weird, huh? It's it weird being back here. It is weird, but it's so great. I'm in my happy place. Me too. <laughs> and faces from our original cast. Hello. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, your voice has changed so much. Thank you. I'm excited to come back. I've missed doing theater. After celebrating our return to theater after two years away, which, uh... <laughs> we're going to talk about later. It was time to go see some people sing and dance. And as you can imagine, as the choreographer, I had a pretty busy day, so ugh, I didn't get to a lot of filming. But I do have some exclusive, top secret, never before seen footage from behind the casting table. And I am going to share it with you guys. But before I do, I just want to give a quick shout out and a quick thank you to Jose Savinsky and my dance captain, Hannah Grant, for helping out with the auditions. They were the one teaching you guys the dance. I couldn't have done this without them. They were incredibly, incredibly sweet to come in a snowstorm to help me. So again, thank you, Jose and Hannah. I appreciate you guys very, very much. And now for the top secret footage of the directing team deciding who's going to be in our show. <laughs> it was really obvious the people that went to boot camp, watched the video, and came back, and how much that part was time. Yeah. The one that really surprised me was It was amazing. Like, vocals, the dance, like, yeah. I was See, here's the thing with is he too old for the cast? Our cast is really, really young. Yeah, That's I don't, I don't yeah. think we're right, but I do appreciate the hard work you But you know what? You had a really good attitude going in and out. If we had slightly older Tracy, slightly yeah. older, we'd have a place. For seaweed, we'd have a place for. Our yeah. So he's a yes now. <laughs> so in terms of callbacks, I know it's really going to be competitive. Who are we going to bring in for Penny, Amber, and Link? Those are the big ones. I mean, this is the short. Where's my green paper? The short list is this. Yeah. Uh, and 
anxious to see what this one can do. I think really we need to look at yeah. What are your thoughts, Cheryl? They're bouncing and crossing a lot of new people. Yeah, a lot of new people. A lot of them. Yeah. And uh, which thrills me. Everybody loved the dance. Oh, that's good. So I guess we've come to a decision. It was very really tough. We have a pass. Oh my God. And that's how it really happened. Thank you guys for taking my lightning. <laughs> yep, totally how it happened. Okay, so I want to talk about yesterday's production meeting. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's another discussion we have to have at the board level. But we're not talking on being in person until at least yeah. February. Yeah, that's true. Things are a little up in the air with this new COVID variant, but... This being our second time around, we're a little bit more prepared. We have discussed some options for virtual rehearsals. Uh, I'm going to be filming some tutorials over my Christmas holiday, and it looks like there are some viable options when it comes to teaching blocking and going over scenes and even possibly music from home, which is great. Maybe that's a way of continuing with virtual rehearsals. It also looks like we have found a musical director. I'm really, really excited. I've never worked with this person before, but I've heard nothing but really great things. And while we're still waiting for a few people to sign off on this decision, I think that this musical director truly is going to be a wonderful fit with this cast. And this cast deserves a really good MD and I think we found one. So I'm really excited to let you guys know who we've brought on board. Unfortunately, I, I don't think we're gonna have any rehearsals in January. It's kind of bittersweet for me because theater is therapy and it was so nice being back at the auditions and being surrounded by like-minded people and, and feeling that energy and knowing that I had it and now it's being taken away. It's really, really difficult. I'm sure the kids in the cast are feeling it too. All I can say right now is hang tight. We're doing the show no matter what. Uh, we're really, really committed and uh, we're talking about possible solutions and options. And uh, I'm just really happy to know that we're part of a team who believes in this production so much that nothing's gonna get in the way of it, not even Omicron. So it's really special being part of such a wonderful community that believes in this project. And that gives me hope that things are gonna work out. Yeah. So now that we have officially cast the show, I've got to figure out who's going to be dancing in each one of these numbers. And if you're not familiar with Hairspray, literally every number in this show is a dance number. So this beautiful, beautiful spreadsheet that I've been working on is the master list of everybody in the show, along with whether or not they appear in certain dance numbers. And it's what I'm using right now to actually help block the show. Numbers like Good Morning Baltimore. I've got all of these different groupings that will come and go on stage. And uh, this is my crazy, crazy world of choreography behind the scenes. This is the, the paperwork bits. Everything is color coded to help me figure things out in my head. And this is sort of the very beginning stages of fitting all of the new puzzle pieces together. So yeah, being a choreographer isn't always pirouettes, sunshines, and rainbows. Sometimes it's very uh, mathematic. Stay in school because even if you become a professional choreographer, you're going to have to learn how to create pivot tables in Excel. <laughs> After I'm done with the master list, I'm also going to be working on writing up the feedback for the people who auditioned who requested feedback. I just want to make a quick note to everybody who came out and ultimately wasn't cast. 
This really isn't a reflection on your talent or your ability as a dancer or an actor. We had a lot of difficult decisions when it came to casting, mostly because we already have like 80% of a cast in place. So it really had a lot more to do with fitting the puzzle pieces together and cast chemistry than it did about your ability to sing and dance. It was more about finding the right fit. So if you weren't cast and you're wondering why, don't worry, it has nothing to do with the quality of your singing, your acting, or your dancing. It's really just about puzzle pieces at this point. And, and we had such a great time watching everybody audition. Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from my gym mat post stretch session. Today is January 9th and we have our first read through on Zoom. I'm really, really excited to see everyone. Uh, we get to announce to the cast that we have a new music director. His name is Christopher Natwick. I've heard nothing but really, really positive things. Welcome aboard our fantastic show. I actually have some footage from our very first rehearsal back in 2020, the first time we were trying to do the show. I'm thinking about trying to get a bit of footage from this read through and do a bit of a comparison video. That should be coming up very, very soon if you're watching this video. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe if that's something that interests you. True, doing a virtual first read through doesn't quite have the same charm as doing it in person. But after these auditions and after filling in these parts, we have such, such a great Penny, such a great Amber. We really got lucky with Link. And we've managed to find some really special people to put into our ensemble. There's so much that these performers can bring to the table and I'm, I'm just really excited that today I finally get to see the first of the puzzle pieces come together. Lisa and I have been talking non-stop. We're just so excited for today. Anyway, if I haven't said so already, be sure to like this video and leave me a comment. Maybe, maybe tell me your favorite dance move of all time. Mine, uh, the Charleston's fun, and I'm a total sucker for a good Calypso jump. <laughs> and like I mentioned earlier, I've got a whole bunch more hairspray content coming your way. So if that kind of stuff interests you and you want to see a behind the scenes look, you better subscribe to this channel. Anyway, I think that's everything. Um, of course, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>